Okay, today we're reviewing area. Some formulas I want you to write down is how to find the area of a triangle. A triangle is half the base times the height. So that's the formula we will use in just a moment to work on this one here. Then there's shapes like this. This is called a trapezoid. And the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid, don't ask me why that's its name. It's kind of a strange name. I'm sure if we took apart the roots of the word, we'd figure it out. The area of a trapezoid is a little bit different because you have to do A plus B divided by two. This is considered A and this is considered B. And then you multiply all of that times the height. To find the area of a parallelogram, it's very similar to finding the area of a rectangle or a square. Instead of saying length times width though, we say base times height. An area of a circle, and again, the capital A is standing for area, is pi times the radius squared. So let's take a look at the first figure. To find the area of a triangle, we're going to do one half the base times the height. Well, the base here is 12. And the height is 5. So here's the one half, because if this was a rectangle, we would just do length times width. But a triangle is half of a rectangle, that's why we're going to divide it by 2. 12 times 5 is 60, and we're still multiplying that times 1 half. And if I multiply 1 half, it's the same as dividing by 2, because 1 times 60 is 60 divided by 2. The area of this is 30 units squared. Let's go over to the parallelogram. This is my favorite, it's the simplest one of all. We're just going to do area is equal to base times height. The base in this case is 12, and we know that because they've got it across the top over here, and the height is 9. And so we would simply multiply 12 times 9. and we get 108 units square. We'll come to the trapezoid at the end. I want to do the circle first. It's the, the formula is the area is equal to pi times radius squared. This isn't a radius. A radius only goes halfway across. This is a diameter. So if the diameter is there, we have to cut it in half. And if we cut this in half, it would be 4. So this would be equal to 3.14, because that's the number we use for pi, times 4 squared. We always do exponents first. And I don't have a calculator, so I'm going to let you guys finish this up. I did 4 times 4 because of 4 squared, and I get 16. For a trapezoid, if I do a plus b divided by 2 times the height. The height in this case is 15. Okay, we'll come back to that when I have a calculator and I'll do just a really short video just on how to solve the trapezoid.